The deepest concrete building, the Petronas Twin Towers in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, features the deepest concrete foundation in the world, reaching depths of 120 meters, that is 394 feet, below ground level. Despite the interchangeable usage of their names, cement and concrete are distinct entities. Cement serves as a fundamental raw material alongside water and aggregate in the production of concrete. The process of creating concrete commences with the formulation of cement, a crucial binding agent responsible for uniting water and aggregates. Various types of cement exist, with ordinary Portland cement being the most widely employed. This nomenclature was bestowed upon it by its inventor due to its resemblance to the stone chlorine found on the Isle of Portland in Dorset, England. The primary components employed in cement production are limestone and clay, typically procured from quarries through methods such as blasting or heavy machinery extraction from the Earth's crust. These extracted materials are then transported to a crushing plant, where they are fragmented into smaller pieces. The crushed limestone and clay are subsequently mixed in appropriate proportions to form a raw meal. This raw meal is transferred to a mill comprising a large rotating cylinder within which the raw materials are finely ground into a powder. This grinding process enhances subsequent chemical reactions and ensures uniformity in the composition of the raw meal. The powdered raw meal is subjected to heat within a preheated tower, where hot gases from the kiln are utilized to elevate the temperature. During its passage through the preheater, the raw meal undergoes partial calcination, resulting in the decomposition of carbonates within the limestone and the formation of calcium oxide, also known as lime. The preheater and percalciner raw meal then enters a rotary kiln, a lengthy cylindrical furnace. The temperature within the kiln reaches approximately 1,450 degrees Celsius, 2,642 degrees Fahrenheit, initiating a series of intricate chemical reactions and sintering processes. This culminates in the creation of small-sized nodules called clinker, composed of calcium silicates, aluminates, and ferrites. The clinker is subsequently discharged from the kiln and passed through a clinker cooler where air is blown through it to reduce its temperature. This cooling stage is vital for maintaining clinker quality and preventing the formation of undesirable crystal formations. The cooled clinker is then finely ground with gypsum and other additives such as fly ash, slag, or pasolana in cement mills resulting in the production of a fine powder. Gypsum is incorporated to regulate the setting time of the cement, ensuring optimal performance. Once prepared, the cement is transported to concrete factories where it plays an indispensable role in the production process. Due to its criticality, cement plant laboratories meticulously examine each manufacturing step through frequent chemical and physical tests. These labs also analyze and assess the final product to ensure compliance with industry specifications. With the cement now prepared, attention turns to sourcing the aggregate, the most significant component of concrete, constituting up to 75% of its volume. Aggregate consists of a combination of gravel and sand, with sand added to completely fill the gaps between the gravel and enhance the concrete's bonding and consistency. A well-graded aggregate, comprising a balanced mixture of coarse and fine particles, reduces the demand for cement, making the entire process more cost-effective. Additionally, the inclusion of admixtures, the hidden stars of concrete manufacturing, offers a multitude of advantages. These chemical substances can be added to concrete to enhance its properties. Plasticizers, for instance, improve workability by facilitating easy molding and placement while preventing water segregation and excessive bleeding. Accelerators, or retarders, represent another type of admixture, enabling the adjustment of concrete's setting time. This is crucial since concrete tends to crack under tension. To address this, numerous chemical additives have been developed to augment concrete's tensile strength. Furthermore, concrete can be fortified by incorporating fibers made of materials such as stainless steel, glass, and carbon into the mixture along with the raw materials. In summary, despite the interchangeability of their names, cement and concrete are distinct entities with cement serving as a primary raw material in the production of concrete. The process encompasses various stages, including the extraction and crushing of limestone and clay, the grinding of raw materials into a fine powder, the heating and sintering of the raw meal in a rotary kiln, and the subsequent production of clinker. Cooling, grinding with additives, and laboratory testing ensure the quality and compliance of the cement. Aggregate, comprising gravel and sand, forms a significant part of concrete, while admixtures can be added to enhance its properties. Together, these components and processes contribute to the creation of durable and high-quality concrete structures. The commencement of concrete production is contingent upon the initial step, which involves the meticulous measurement of cement, aggregate, admixtures, and water in adherence to the desired strength and characteristics of the concrete. 
This intricate process, known as concrete mix design, constitutes a distinct discipline solely dedicated to determining the appropriate proportions of raw materials in order to attain a specific tensile strength. Additionally, building codes have been established to stipulate the ratio of cement, aggregate, and water contingent upon the distinct types of construction. Subsequently, the ingredients are meticulously blended to create a homogeneous mixture. Traditionally, this task was executed manually, employing shovels on a level surface like a concrete slab. Nevertheless, contemporary practices employ concrete mixers, a mechanism that automates and expedites the process. This mixing process ensures the uniform distribution of cement particles throughout the aggregates. Once the dry ingredients are amalgamated, water is gradually introduced while the mixture continues to blend. The amalgamation of water and cement begets a paste known as cement paste. This hydration process generates heat and endures over a prolonged duration, gradually augmenting the strength and durability of the concrete. The mixing procedure persists until the concrete attains a consistent texture. During this stage, it is crucial to evaluate the workability of the concrete, adjusting its consistency by incorporating additional water or dry ingredients as deemed necessary. Following the completion of the mixing process and the attainment of the desired consistency, the concrete is transported to its ultimate location and meticulously placed. This may be accomplished by pouring it directly into formwork molds or by utilizing specialized equipment like pumps or conveyors. Throughout the placement process, the avoidance of segregation whereby coarse aggregates become separated from the remaining mixture is of paramount importance. Furthermore, the concrete must then be appropriately compacted to eradicate any voids or air pockets. Vibrators or mechanical means like tamping or rolling are typically employed to achieve compaction, which ensures that the concrete attains optimal density and exhibits commendable strength and durability. Once the concrete is placed and compacted, it undergoes the crucial process of curing. Curing encompasses the maintenance of suitable moisture and temperature conditions, allowing the cement to gradually hydrate and gain strength. This entails the continuous dampening of the concrete or the application of curing membranes, blankets, or plastic sheets. The duration of the curing process may span several days or weeks, depending on the type of concrete and the desired strength. After the concrete has adequately cured, a plethora of finishing techniques can be employed to attain the desired surface texture and appearance. These techniques may include smoothing, leveling, troweling, or the application of decorative finishes. Due to its remarkable versatility, cement stands as the most extensively utilized construction material not only in the United States but globally as well. The annual production of hydraulic cement, a variant that solidifies underwater, surpasses $4 billion in the United States alone, contributing to $20 billion worth of concrete construction. As a whole, the concrete industry boasts an estimated value exceeding $600 billion, underscoring its immense significance within the construction realm.